What's up guys, my name is Mer and today I wanted to discuss Nexon's new game V4 coming to PC as well as mobile about two days ago. I think this is a great generation for games because they're becoming cross-platform, cross-save, so you can play either on your phone or on your PC, whichever you prefer. And this is starting a whole new genre of gaming. Um, this is something that has just been more recent into games and I think is they're starting to evolve into other genres as well. So let's go ahead and just dive in guys. So what to expect from this game? Uh, this is obviously an MMORPG. Um, it's got an auto battler style to it, auto questing. So uh, for the mobile players and it makes it really easy to kind of just ease, it, ease into the grind as well as be able to do things in your inventory. Um, I think some MMOs, you get stuck a lot of time in your downtime trying to do things. This game does a good job of kind of solving for that. But also, um, this is more of a game that is a mobile game that allows you to have a ported place on PC to play it. So I don't want to compare this to a game like Final Fantasy XIV um, or another MMORPG that's offered purely for PC or meant for PC. Um, this is specifically a game that is generated for mobile, but has also the ability to play it on PC. And that, that is the way that I would describe this. And that is from a friend of mine that um, we talked about this. And that's kind of where I got the benefit of playing this game is that it, it's the only it's a PC game you can take on the go. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, looking into this, I just really wanted to show you guys some gameplay, uh, show you guys kind of an introduction to what you're going to expect on the game and kind of like where to kind of figure out what kind of characters you can get. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to create a new character real quick. Um, I think you can only have one character per server from what I've noticed. Um, I think the only one I have not done is two. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we have six different classes here. You've got your magic. you got the enchantress to start out. Or DPS, you've got the warlord. You've got the slayer. you got the gunslinger. I would say for the DPS classes, the gunslinger and the slayer are the most important ones. From what I've noticed, that they're the main ones. From a skill outlook, I think the Gunslinger looks the coolest. Slayer is more of like an assassin style, um, like blinking, attacking with swords very quickly. Warlord is going to be more like your Berserker Rage. Um, so yeah, if you're going to pick between those two, I would say if you're starting out, you're not sure what to do, I would just stick with the Gunslinger or the Slayer just to check out the game or the Enchantress if you're... Uh, whatever you want to do. I'm just giving you guys my advice. And then you got the Knight in the Boomblade. Knight's going to be your tank. Boomblade's going to be another DPS style, but it's going to be a little bit of a different take on it. It's probably going to be more for veteran players who, you know, want a little bit of a higher difficulty switching between range and melee. So for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and make a... Oh, screw it. We're going to make a Beyblade. Beyblade. Boomblade. <laughs> Can you just imagine that? Someone just using a freaking Beyblade in this? Cool. All right. Um, let's go ahead and... Um, look into the customization real quick just so you guys can kind of see what they've done the nice thing is this is the exact same weight on the mobile version so not much difference at all i think this is a beautiful game for the mobile for the wreck um at least oh, weird. anyways so we're gonna go through that and then you got the hair color colors to kind of show you guys this um they definitely did a really good job with the color palettes um it looks it literally is the exact same on mobile as it does on PC. That's pretty cool. You got hair shine if you want to shine up. You want to be a little bit sparkly. Sparkle, sparkle, son. You got, um, let's see, skin. I think this kind of just a general one. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but just so you guys can kind of see like the differences. Wow, that looks like a person doll. It's kind of scary. Um, you got the eyes. Oh, wow, this one actually has more than the other one. Eye color. Orange, dude. Absolutely. Anyways. You actually have a lot of customization in this game. You got lip shine. Again, porcelain. Very porcelain-ish. Um, cheek position, jaw position. I don't really care as much about that stuff. But, um, you got... Body, you can do overall size, taller, you can do head size, you want more of that, like, I don't know, just bigger head. I have some thick double C-ness. Big arms, chest size, lower body, hip size, big size, you can make it extra thick. Thickness, half size, foot size, you can make them have, like, giant feet, little feet, whatever you want, dude. Oh, we're just gonna go ahead and move forward with this. Um, 
Oh, boom! Ooh. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and enter just to show you guys this. There is a pretty sick uh, intro. I think they did a good job with it. Uh, good cinematics. I'm gonna skip it, let you guys watch that for yourself when you play it. Now, let's go ahead here and dive in. I'm gonna go ahead and full screen this. In one, two, three. All right. Gotcha. All right, so this is how it goes. This little area up here is gonna do your auto battler. Uh, you're gonna go around, talk to a bunch of people. You can skip pretty much every interaction, which is nice. Um, you got your menu here, you've got your character, you've got your workshop where you're going to enhance your gear. You've got production, so this is gonna be a gathering, crafting. You've got quests, you can basically just, the auto quest kinda does that for you. This is where you get some of your rewards, eats. This is gonna be more of like, uh, I guess like your, your like long-term reward system. So you gain like for like killing monsters and things like that. Missions, this is gonna be your dailies, your weeklies, your your monthlies, your guild missions. Once you join a guild, of course, you got your map. This is the map. This is actually a pretty big map for what a mobile game can do, and it looks like it's even bigger than that. I haven't gotten that far yet, in all honesty. Then we got the region boss. Um, this is going to be a little bit later, I believe. You have to have a recommended CP. This is very similar to a lot of, like, MMORPG gotcha games that, like, um... Not really even like gotcha, but more just so like the CP powered games. Like this one reminds me of Eternal Sword M um, from what I have played, but yeah, you're gonna have like a recommended gear power to be able to do it. Such that's all I'm going to And then you got your friends list. You can add people. You can only add people within the server. And since it seems like you can only do uh, one character class per server, you are probably gonna have to make new friends. Trading post. This is where people can sell to each other, and um, it looks like that's what the currency for the game is. So it, you can get some of this currency. I don't know if you can get it for free. I think it's only the premium currency, and that's how people are going to basically make the economy. Got PvP. Got check-ins. This is going to be your daily check-ins. Got your appearance if you ever want to change it. Which actually, I'm just realizing that now. But you do need a mod. Okay, cool. So you would need a mod ticket. You got your Facebook community, your FAQs, and your controls. Your controls, what I think they should do is they need to add like controller capabilities to it because this game makes more sense for that because you've only got, you know, five controls here. Um, for PC, it's like one, two, three, four, five. You've got your screenshot if you want to take some photos, you know, a passion for. And then you've got your character screen, so that's where you switch characters. You got your mail, this is where you're gonna get all of your rewards when you log in. Um, this is gonna be like your online pre-registration, your launch stuff, all that jazz. Cool, we're just gonna go ahead and grab it, and then sleep mode, and then this is where you're gonna make all of your settings. Something I would recommend when you start the game off is auto use mount sprint, demon hunter auto transform. Um, those are really important because it's gonna make your grind faster, and the thing is is that you, why would you have your Demon Hunter form leveled up and then, like, not use it? Built up. So, makes the most sense. Um, auto use priority. Use low grades first, that makes sense. Activates auto counter immediately. Drop gear limit. I mean, honestly, this stuff's actually. No rotation. Cool. Um, you got the graphics, you can do, you know, window mode. Got. Windowed mode, you've got ended full screen. I think they did a good job with that. Cool, you got VSync off. Perfect. You got your sound settings, your account settings. And you like cool. All right. Go ahead and move forward with this. All right, looking into the game, you also have your bag. This is where you're going to basically get all your items. You can use them all. I'm going to just open up all these new packs. You get a lot of good stuff. You get like pets, you get mounts. Like this game is gifting you a bunch of stuff early on. They tutorialize everything and give you a reward for doing it, show you how to do everything, explain what they're for. Give you a little bit of gold for your time. And then everything's basic. I mean, it's really simple. They, they actually, like, simplified the process of this really complicated. Um, it looks very overwhelming at first, but once you kind of understand where everything's at, like, the game tells you what you need to look at in order to get it, like, these little red ones. So, do a good job of it. Everything's pretty much click to skip. And that makes it really fast to go through all of this stuff. And then over here on the left side on the menu, you've got the party streamer. This is going to take you to the event page. Day one, grand launch. You got special supplies. Day one, you got a 30 day sub event if you make a purchase. You've got guild allies. So join a guild as soon as you can. Loyalty event if you spend money. 
$200. That's insane. Could do that. Mission event. So if you attempt to upgrade a soul stone five times, XYZ, get some extra stuff, and then you're logging. This is going to be your time frame. So if you spend 60 minutes a day in the game, you're gonna, in a character, you will get more. If you hit these level points while playing, you're also going to get more rewards. They are literally giving you tons and tons of rewards to play the game now. So if you do want to check this game out and you want to head start, this would probably be the best time to do it. Check it out. See for yourself. See what this game looks like for you. Now, I want to go ahead here and just show you guys some of the stuff you get right off the bat. I want to equip something that I get. Just click it. Community events. Here we go. That. And it's literally just... I just I can't hit enter. Can't hit enter. Alright, let's go ahead and use the daily mount and the daily pet. So you get five daily mounts and daily pets that you can grind. I got the Chain Battle Lion. Sick, dude. That's like the second one I got. That's great. And then a Valon. Those are going to be the pet. Okay, now that I got a pet, it's going to give me the tutorial on that. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Ooh, we're going to summon it. You have to use scrolls to summon, which is kind of dumb, but it's whatever. I think you get a lot of them. I'm going to go ahead and get him. You're going to see on the left here some of the benefits you get. I change it over to him. I'm going to go to the feats. Unlock some stuff, which is going to help me level up a little bit. And then I'm going to start moving forward. And if you guys ever want to exit a menu, just click right here. Cool. And then we're going to go forward. See? Now I'm using my sprint when I'm doing that, so it's going to take me where I need to go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the battle systems, guys. Alright. So now we got some of uh, the melee here. Again, this is a character that uses both melee as well as that. This ranged. Watched here. Now, as you obviously level up, you're going to get more skills. The first part of the game, within like the first 15 minutes, you will unlock your skills. I'm going to test them out a little bit. And then these skills look a lot cooler. You're going to open up a demon form, which is going to make your skills a little bit cooler, have some better um, animations. Go ahead and do the skills. This is your skill tree. This is where you're going to see basically all your stuff. So any menu item I didn't check out before, it was locked. They're going to unlock. They're going to show you exactly what they do. And then it's going to walk you through exactly what you need to do for each one. And the nice thing is um, they have a really good tutorial system. But what I like about this game is that they have chainable skills so that when you hit a skill, it's going to actually evolve into another skill set. And I'll let you know. Which I think is really a nice system. This is different and unique. Um, I haven't seen this too much in any game. I say Final Fantasy XIV did this really well, where one ability evolves into another one. I get procs into it. This game does a lot of that, and I think it looks really cool. And if you want to take a look at some of the skills that you don't unlock so that you want to see if this is the character for you, you can actually create a character, go in here, take a look at some of the skills, see what it can do. I think the animations for this game, for being a mobile game, is insane. They did a good job on that. I'm, I'm excited to play the characters. I think all of them have actually looked really beautiful. This one's probably the one that I think that looks the most versatile. I will say that the Gunslinger one looks really, uh, really, really cool just because of the amount of jumps and leaps that it does. And then, uh, but yeah, this one definitely looks really cool to use. I'm actually excited that I made this one. I'm gonna have to check this one out. This one definitely. Stop. So yeah guys, I just wanted to share this with you guys, get this content out to you, show you a little bit of through the game, and I hope that this is a game that you guys end up checking out. It is free, um, just go through Nexon to download the launcher and start playing. And uh, if you guys are wanting to make a purchase on the game, my recommendation would be to go into the store and do the 30 day because you do get double the experience, 10% increase on gold and uh, some higher attack speed as well as attack percentage. Uh, so some, some minor buffs there. But I think that that would be the, the best worth of money to spend on the game right now. Um, there is like a 99 cent packs if you want to get like the first purchase reward for the game. Um, so that's just my take on what you would want to pay. But I don't see this being a huge uh, pay to play compared to some of the games that are out there today. Um, you know, forcing ads down your throat. So um, yeah, guys, I really enjoyed playing this. I'm still probably going to end up playing it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like more content about this game, um, if you'd like me to continue making videos on this, but I wanted to share this with you guys. And if you guys want uh, a good resource for this game, I would say a friend of mine, Evil Wolf Zoid on YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and link him below. He loves games like this. He's very knowledgeable about games like this. 
he plays a lot of Eternal Sword M as well as uh, he's going to start playing this and I would definitely recommend following him, checking out some of his content because he's going to make some um, really great stuff about this. So I just want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Make sure to comment down below what you guys want to see, like, subscribe, you know the drill. And if you want to come check me out on Twitch, go ahead and do that. Uh, it's just twitch.tv slash Thanks again, guys. Have a good day.